Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to I really thought that he was gonna say the Resident Evil 4 thing, but it didn't work out like that, so I'm, I'm just gonna cut to the gameplay. <laughs> Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. Unable to resist this intoxicating power. Ew. Uh, something about the way that always like goes in his body, like the way it does a bloop, like the way that egg just ew, it's gross. Hey, hey, wake up. Crawl out of one hole. And into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? How the? Was oh, a cop or something? Was nah, was a cop, to be honest. Bad. Maybe. Let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. This guy had one too many cervezas, bro. Oh my god. What happened to him? I want to know his story. Like, I know he's Who like... Might you be? Has the the, the, the uh, organism in him, but Jesus. But now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. Used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey, bud. Hey, boy. I'm not bad. Why? I didn't do nothing to you. I killed your clones, but like... After you. They're... Oh, whoa, whoa! Now. Wait, I'm on I'm on control. Why did it say X and C? That threw me the hell off. Holy crap. Oh, no go, Luis. We're just having a great conversation. And I lost my jacket for the rest of the game. That's the worst part about this game is that we lose the jacket. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a uh, bit tied up. You're okay, right? Just, just a comedian. There's a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Okay, I got it. I got to see. Okay, there we go. Now, now the thing is on my controller for whatever reason it was on freaking pc controller that i almost bit the bullet there jesus i panicked i was like x and c and i started looking at my, con at my xbox controller I was like wait a minute what over here stranger like i said if you're new to the playthrough i, I already played re4 many a times and i'm just gonna be spurging about this game the entirety of the playthrough so uh this is this just all to have a good time. So I guess technically, you, I mean, do you have to go see Got him? Something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good, good things on sale, sale, stranger. Right? Don't know if you know, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you shot ten or more of them, and I've got a specialized gun I want. You to try out. Nice. nice. What are you buying? Okay, first of all, we are getting the attache case bigger. 
Uh, we are. Uh, we don't need the TMP for now. Oh, well, can I sell? Because I do want to get the rifle. Because they literally, they literally tell you, hey, you should get the rifle. Because they literally give you five rifle sh uh, shots. Uh, we're gonna do three spinals, a pearl pendant. Uh, that goes into this. But I'm gonna buy this real quick. Thank you. Can I get the scope or the scope for the rifle? Yeah. Because uh, I am not that great for sniper rifle, so any help that I can get, I will get. Thank you. So we're gonna just look at that really quick. That's gonna be combined with that. Also, like I said before, you're gonna combine this with this bad boy. Now you have a more valuable thing. Uh, with this, you don't want to sell it right off the bat, especially with things you get with like those slots. You also you already you want to wait till you get the cat size or the like red or green jewels or red. There's always there's always gonna be three things you need to get if they give you something to uh what's the word fill out. So yeah, we're gonna do this and we're. Uh, yeah, this part's just, who, literally just destroy everything in your path. You don't have to, I guess, but there is quite a lot of enemies, and I'm just gonna start off with. I guess no one noticed. Oh, he was gonna fall off anyway. You have dynamite, so I'm getting rid of you. Your clone was trying to kill me earlier. He was very covered up in blood. Don't mind me. You see, you see the skills popping off? You, you see the skills popping off? Shut up, bitch! Okay, I think I killed a decent amount. Is there, there should be... Mm, oh, they noticed. Time to pull out the, the strap. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, I think there was something. Yep, there was something back here. Definitely want that. All right, let's go. We killed a decent amount. I think we got a good amount of the ones that are like far. Wow, you were just, you, I literally won't be able to get you until I got out here, huh? Let's try a different animation. How about, or, or, or not? We just, you know, continue. I like the kicks as much as the next person. Ooh, look at that crit. Get bot. Oh, that's not good. Run away, run away, run away, Leon. Alright, we've got more rifle ammo. Oh, shoot. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna shoot him with the pistol. Or not. Ha. Alright, we're gonna try and shoot this out of the air. Or not. Uh, well, now that they're closer. Kill. Test perfect. Repeat. Because you had them with the dynamites, me with the grenades, so it was like a triple, like, powered explosion. So. Come on. I think you do this, you start doing the suplex, like, later on, which, I think in the castle, but. Oh, yeah, at the bridge, I forgot at the bridge, you can literally just shoot them once and they all just fall off. Alright, going good. We haven't taken damage yet. All right, kick him here. You never want a knife. Like the one thing I learned, especially in the RE2 remake, you never want to knife anyone if they're literally if they're not stunned some way. Even in this game, you try and knife someone, you will get bopped. Uh, shotgun time. Pull out the pistol. See, man. See, look, I've gotten better. The first, the first episode was a little rough because it's been a minute. But now, see, look, I'm shooting things. I'm actually hitting my mark. Oh, okay. That Loki got me. Not, not gonna lie. Kick you. I'm just trying to save as much ammo as possible because obviously this is a survival horror. Kick you, all three of you. You stunned while I finish these two off. Or one. Okay. Whew, a little tense. This music is really, the music in this game is really, really good. And I think we're, 
pretty much. I was wondering it's behind, yeah, below me. Yeah. Perfect. Get all three of you. Bop. Shoot. Shoot you. Uh, oh, well, you didn't fall off the bridge. That's not how that's supposed to go. Okay. Interesting. So let's go. All right, we got him. Nice. Uh, and I think we literally only have you, bud. What's up? All in all, I can say that went pretty well. <laughs> At least better than like you would think. Just because I don't like you. How many people are here? Oh, it sounds, oh, ow, holy. Okay. Well, pistol your face, kick you, you fall down. All right, I think you're, I'm pretty sure you're done. Okay, I think there was someone behind me. Okay, damn, I, I actually, I'm actually underestimating how many people are here. I, it sounded like there was one more, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, it sounded like there was a bunch and the music is still popping off, so there's definitely more enemies still. This is a little weird, but. All right, we got the other half. We can literally get out of here right now, but we're gonna loot the place, obviously, because we need uh, ammo and stuff. Uh, I guess I'll eat the egg really quick. Leon, number one enemy in this game is Le is Leon and Ladders, bro. Like, he does not like it at all. The only way he'll go down a ladder if it's like a, a iron fixed one. Any wooden ladder, he literally will always kick down, and he would much rather somersault jump off of a in like a three-story building then take the ladder down because whatever right and we got everyone sweet all right well that was dope that went a lot better than it could have gone <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad about that anytime you get a, a chance to play the game and like get out of it like minimal damage and most of your ammo intact it's a win in my book, so we can go in this building and check it out real quick. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we got that. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here. So we can just leave. So, so we have combined with that, use that, and then we're good. And we can pop out of here. Honestly, like I said, you didn't even have to like destroy everyone there. You could literally just um you could literally just do that and then grab the two pieces and then just bounce. So, uh, if you notice too, uh, the lighting is a little bit different because I decided to turn off my light because it is warm. Not only that, it's also for it to ha have more spooky atmosphere, if you know what I mean. So, it's a lot better for the atmosphere. So, we're gonna just going to pop in here. Okay. Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Take a second to admire the environment. And there goes the music. Oh, I, I mean, I know they block your church. They try to block your shots, but it's so funny when they try to do that. Okay, let me just get rid of you. Ow, hole. Okay, that's hurting. Um. You. I, I, I think these are the most annoying enemies. These and the... Okay, move. Ooh, I don't, I don't like, man. I don't like that you have to stop. Because <laughs> they add such a layer of, like, anxiety. Ow, what the hell? You're behind the wall. Cheater. The hell? But yeah, I, it's such a anxiety-inducing thing when you can't move and shoot or do whatever and you have somebody behind you. Ugh. Okay. So. Jump out. See, why can't you just be a normal person and just crack the window or something? Ooh, nice. Ooh, that could have gone a lot worse. You know, let, let me just do this. I'm not gonna sp do that. And just do that. <laughs> 
And he's still going. Man's is a trooper. Look at him. Hey, bro. You good? Okay, he's good. It would be really embarrassing if I got caught on one of those, so I'm just gonna expedite that. And I almost did! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Shows you how much I'm good at this game. Or how good I am at this game. <laughs> okay, check these little things. Surely I'll just dip your hand in the fire and grab the hot jewel. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, whoa! Yeah, that's right. Get closer. Like a roundhouse kick, both of you. Double kill. All right, we're good. And no more enemies. Awesome, man. This adds so much stress. You can literally, and that's the thing. Obviously, like I know how to play, and I know where things are at. But you can miss that so hard. Cause I, when I first played this game, I never knew how to get that because I always thought, why can I cut uh like a a thing or something? You know what I mean? Like, can I cut the like planks? Because half the time in games, like, they don't allow you to, like, interact with those, like, type of uh, environments. So, I, I usually just avoided them all altogether. So, that's just me anyway. But, yeah. Hoo-wee. Man, this is just... It's funny how the game never, like, it's interesting how the game never lets you essentially rest. You know what I mean? You The moment you start the game, you have... Is there a guy on there? Pretty sure. Could have sworn there was someone down here. Anyway. Um, the moment you start the game, it, it just brings you in. You're like, oh, okay, this is like weird. You go in the house. Or you're thinking, oh, it's going to be a little bit slow, like RE in, in general in the past. Um, let me just grab one of these. No, no. Oh, what, whatever. We're leaving it. I'm not going back. <laughs> um. But you would think, oh, it starts off slow, this, this, and that. But no, it starts off and it just goes. Like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't go slow. Like, it, it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't let you breathe. Because we went from surviving the town, then we went to the farm, and then we got captured, and then we got into a whole entire, essentially a raid. Like, we had to fight, like, 30 people. You know what I mean? And like you can, that's why this game obviously leans more towards action than horror. But I think it balances well, a little well, more well than um, let's say RE5 or something. You know what I mean? Like RE5 is still fun, but compared to RE4 and like you know three and two, it's definitely not the best one. And even RE6, obviously. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like this. Hey, <laughs> let's get it. And let's move on. You got the insignia key. Awesome. Uh, take chief's note as instructed by Lord Settler. I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as he'd been ordered. I don't expect Luis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface even if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. I'm pretty sure that was Mendez, because he's obviously like the second in command. It's weird, because... Mendez doesn't really talk at almost at all in the entire game, but he only talks through like no, so that's the only way you can get like an idea of what's going on in his head. Cause he's like to me, he's like a pseudo tyrant. You know what I mean? He's like he's a big dude in a like leather coat and like pants or whatever that you know. It, he reminds me a lot of like that. Actually, wait, I am wrong. He does talk. And this <laughs> stupid. Oh, oh, how the hell does this sneak around? They still got me. You carry the same blood as us. 
it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. And that was a chapter. All right, that's gonna end it here. But yeah, I was wrong, obviously, right? He does speak. But yeah, I'm ending the chapter here, and then I'll put the next one up probably tomorrow or something. Uh, let me know how you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, I couldn't record yesterday because, like, <sighs> these. F I can't. It's you two. These hecking neighbors were blasting music for a long, long time, so I couldn't even record this. So. It happened, and I couldn't do anything about it, so I was super annoyed all day yesterday, because I one thing I hate doing is not being able to provide you guys with content, so I really hate that. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, for you share the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.